Today, Thursday, December 24th, Christmas Eve 2015. Um, coming up, we're getting wrapped up in the Christmas spirit in genius ways to present your presents. But first, your local news. Also ahead, when it comes to gift-giving shopping, it is only half the battle. We've got you covered with some last-minute gift wrapping ideas. I tried to wrap a Jurassic Park dinosaur now for two days. Up next, one man's toilet paper roll is another man's gift box. Okay, unique gift wrapping solutions without leaving your home. But first, this is Today on NBC. Thanks, Dr. G. It's 844. We're back with creative gift wrapping ideas. And get this, you won't even have to leave your house to find the supplies to do it. Today.com contributor Anna D'Souza is here. Anna, happy holidays. Happy Merry Christmas. Holidays. This is great. It's last minute. Sure. Give me three great tips for wrapping. So the first one is look for paper, any paper. You can turn birthday paper inside out and it's white. And all of a sudden you have gift wrap. You can do brown paper bag. Just look around. Even a subway map will do. So now the second one, look for inspiration all around you. So grab that pine cone, grab a piece of the Christmas tree. And then thirdly, to look thoughtful and intentional, try to keep it monochromatic or in the same color family. So it looks thoughtful. It looks doesn't like look like you slapped to, it together. Exactly. All right, this is great. You use beautiful single colored paper. Exactly. And then what do you use these cookie cutter type things for? So we're calling this cutting corners because at the last very second, this is what we have to resort to. So basically what you do is you look for scrap paper now maybe you don't have some but maybe your kids have some so you don't have to double wrap your gift you just put it right on the top side of your gift so now we're gonna get to work I here use this. here's this one here's okay. this one for you so now what you want to do is you want to do half of the silhouette of whatever christmas themed you know cutout that you can even think of so you want to go halfway i'm going to freehand here a christmas tree you want me to go lightly on this so you right? want to go lightly exactly you just want to score the very top so that you don't get the contrast paper underneath but then what happens is when you start to fold it back you want to fold it halfway to reveal that contrast paper and all of a sudden so i have a surprise oh, yeah, for here. you down there we're getting there okay nice Oh, look at Perfect. that. That's fantastic. What Isn't a great, great idea. It just takes a little and planning ahead like of time. It looks like a professional did it. All right, now, Hoda said a second ago, one man's toilet paper rolls, <laughs> another person's gift wrapping. How do you, what do you do here? Okay, so if you're feeling flush and, and flustered. Cute. Cute. Uh, yeah, you like that? Mm -hmm. um, you can grab toilet paper rolls. So now all you have to do, and now you can do this with paint. You can do this with markers. You go ahead, you can do any sort of design. I like, I'm Bob Ross in this with a... Uh, Oh, a I love Christmas Bob Ross. tree, a happy little tree. It's your right? it's your painting. You, you make the cabin it. as big as you want to make it. <laughs> I love him. I love me too. Yeah. So then, okay, perfect. So now all you do is with one that isn't wet. What you're going to do is you're going to flatten it slightly. Then you're going to push the edges in, almost like a a half moon. On both sides, or just On leave the other side open sides. for now? Right, then you leave the other side open, you put some crinkle paper. This is great for jewelry. That's a high I low, right? Idea. Imagine getting really fancy jewelry. No, it's really and nice. Paper and roll. then you did these great little bows yes. on it with different ribbons and so strings. Beautiful. You great. can't even tell. All right, what's this one? Okay, so now everyone has duct tape, right? Or painter's tape. You head over to your um, toolkit or you head over to your garage. Now, you can always just use duct tape as is, but we're going to next level this thing. All you're going to do is you're going to use a craft knife to score either semicircles around, oops, semicircles around the duct tape leading with the edge. So I primed this one for you so you can so you start on one, out. but do it very Gently. slowly. Yes, gently. 
Okay. So I have this one here. It's more of a chevron. And then so you I just love... put that down. Exactly. Then you just put it right onto your gift, and it looks like you tried. Okay. I'm going to pretend that I've cut this off. I here. love that. Okay. There's no knife on that. This one here. That Lovely. one popped out. Here okay. you go. Okay. Wait. There. So then you just place it right on top of your gift. I messed up the end, but for example, you could do it at an angle. Exactly. Like that. Nice. Okay. Pretty. Time for one more quick one. Okay. Head over to your kitchen pantry. You can do accents really beautifully just with cupcake liners. So I love this. What you have to do is you do, you need about seven or eight. What do you want to, what you want to do is you want to loosely restack them. So then, they separate a little bit. Right. Then you score the bottom. You feed a pipe cleaner through it. So now we did it with that one. So then all you do is you start to fluff. So pull everything inward. Ahead, one, one liner at a time. And all of a sudden, it starts to look like it a looks great. Anna D'Souza, these are great ideas. <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas to you. And for all of these instructions and more last-minute gift wrapping ideas straight from your closet, like this one, head to today.com slash style. Up next, a quick fix for your Christmas dinner as we cook outside for a big crowd. But first, this is Today on NBC.